right, so we just assigned the channels to the buses, okay? But now let's make sure we have the bus masters assigned. Now remember, we can put a bus master over here on the fader bay, or we can put a bus master here on the control bay. For this example, I'll put it on the control bay. So what you need to do is you select Strip Setup, pulls up your Strip Setup page. Remember, we'd go to the Control Bay tab. And here I have selected my uh, AUX buses. Now, one of the things I can do is on bringing those to the surface, if you remember, we right click and then we just choose what bus master we want to bring up and then select it. What we can also do is we can go to Edit User Label and what this allows us to do is this is where we would label our AUX masters. So very simple. We just type in whatever label we want there, and we hit OK. All right, so we have our AUX masters now on the surface, and we want to make sure we have our patch correct also. So I'm going to deselect strip setup so I can see the patch bay. And if I just select the AUX master name by just touching it on the Vistonic display, you can see it automatically goes right to that patch point. It makes it very simple to find out where you have it patched or where you need to patch it. So here we can see that AUX Master 1 is going out of line output 5 of the surface of the desk, and that's how it's getting out to the outside world. So again, all we do is we touch the name, and it goes right directly to that patch point. The same is true for our group buses. If I select the group bus name, automatically goes right to that patch point and we can see where it's patched or if we need to change the patches. And of course, same is true for our master outputs. We select the name and it automatically goes right to that master output patch point and then we can make changes or adjustments. And that is the bus assignment section.